Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Liking Treasures and Curiosities. And wow, I am overwhelmed. Right now, it is 5 a.m. in the morning. I've been up for about an hour and a half um, getting together some auction things, um, doing some paperwork, figuring out some numbers. Uh, I can't sleep. Um, that's not actually probably not a good thing. But we've had very, very bad storms in this area. I'm not good with storms. It affects pressure, headache. It, it was bad. I mean, when the storm first started last night, I was in bed with migraine at 5 o'clock. <laughs> so that's another reason why I'm up so early. Plus, I am dedicated to finishing this. I, wow, um, I took a massive, I, I sold a lot. I'm still a little overwhelmed. That auction with Victoria was so amazing that I'm still working it out. And um, I already got another six orders out. Well, it was set up set up sitting on the chair. It's going to go out with the mailman today. I'm hoping before the mailman gets here, I can complete the rest. If not, the one order that's on delay is that huge one of 750 uh, DVDs. Yeah, somebody ordered 750 DVDs, which amazing, but I'm going to try to get the rest of them out today. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. The big thing is I also signed up for something else and it's like, oh, I'm going to need time for that. I signed up for an auction, not one, but two, because it's Wednesday and Wednesday is Paul and Antonelli swap me. And then after that one, I am jumping on another channel and going to ride this wave of prosperity and... Go on another um, auction spray. So I've got to make sure that I get some stuff together for that as well. But I think I pretty much, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do DVDs. I want to stay away from DVDs for a while. Anyway, let's get to it because I think these videos right now are more important than ever because this is going to slowly show the transition of almost what I want to say I was trying to run a business, but more was a hobby. Now I'm running into a full-fledged business. And this is going to include the full grand opening of a brick-and-mortar store, which I am thrilled. I say, I'm like, it's a 28-day countdown. So in 28 days, I am opening up a store. Amazing. I already have in my head some of the plans I'm going to do, um, some of the things I'm going to do. It's not going to be one of those things that when it's a grand opening, the doors are going to open up and hundreds of people are going to flock in. No. What I finally am going to love about this store is I could start advertising more locally. I can have people actually come in and say, hey, if you're interested in this piece, why don't you just come to the store, take a look, because I have a whole mess of other pieces as well. And it'll probably showcase a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily showcase online, such as some of the collectibles, some of the jewelry, some of the little things that I just don't have time. And it, basically, it's me displaying my death pile. <laughs> Is that a better way to say it? I'm displaying my death pile for sale. Okay, so let's get to it because yesterday's numbers were fantastic. Now, aside from it being fantastic, I also had a couple of emails and additional sales because people have heard about what has been going on with Victoria's auction that they contacted me about other things. So those private sales, I'm not necessarily going to include because right now I've written so many notes elsewhere that I can't determine what was from an auction, what was from this, what was from that, simply because I have it listed, doom, 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 doom. And as they pay, as they, I'm crossing it off and it's pages and pages of stuff. <laughs> I have, that's that's the one thing I need to learn is how to be organized and how to keep proper records. But one step at a time, I make my little baby steps and I'll learn along the way. But yesterday's numbers on eBay, and I haven't even touched eBay. I'm wondering if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but my numbers yesterday were fantastic. So let's get right to it. The first thing I sold, and this is a cute little thing, they're little minion um, walkie-talkies. I won these in an auction lot. It was a boxed auction lot. It was either Paul or it was Jerry. No, I think it was Jerry. It was Jerry's auction. It was a box full of all kinds of little toys. I think I paid fifteen dollars for the little toys. I started piecing out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Started piecing out each of the following um, toys, and 
look how cute these are. They're little minion walkie talkies. They do work. I took the batteries out. Um, they'll, they'll just have to get their own batteries, but it's a fun little thing. He sold for $12 and 99 cents. And the next item I sold happened to be this little, um, duplicate scratch for all game pen. This one is going to highlight a Ford JP Silver Birch AFM 0361. So the story behind these things is I had a whole bunch of these. I've been selling, this one went for, um, how much is this? This one only went for $8. I've been selling them for, um, between $9.99 to $13, but my store is having a 15% off sale this week. So I think with whatever sale, and maybe I took a best offer, this came out to $8, which is fine because I had a whole bunch of them, lots and lots of car parts that I paid minimum for, and I'm just selling those every now and then. Then the next thing I sold is a book called Master of the Mark. It's an Olympic swimmer's long journey to freedom. And it's Kim Rock... Oh, God, I can't say it. Rottenbaugh Llewellyn. Kim Rottenbaugh Llewellyn. Um, it's one of those female inspirational stories of success. And uh, it is religious. So, I mean, this covers a lot of things. It's an autobiography about a famous, person, a famous swimmer. So they're getting everything in this one book. This one sold for $10. And of course, when it comes to books, all my books are free. Very rare do I pay for books. And if I do pay for books, there's usually a reason why I'm paying for books. But um, that one was a freebie book, sold that for $10. Then the next thing I sold happened to be a brand new Yahtzee game. Now I sold this for $13.59. Just acquired this last last week, week before, either last week or the week before at a garage sale, and I only paid a dollar for it. So it's an easy, quick flip. I would have gotten more on it, but my store is having a sale right now, so they got the 15% uh, off. That's why it's such a weird amount at $13.59. And then this was a surprising sale. Um, there's a weird story behind this. Uh, I'm going to show you what it is. I actually did a video on this because I did a video on it saying, I just want to do a video on this just for the prosperity of this thing. But what this is, is we thought for the longest time it was a serving plate. It was until I looked up the glass inscription because what it says is it says Warner Lens patent June 25th, 1912, D equals 9 minus IC. So looking that up, and you know what this turns out to be? This is a classic, like, 1912 car headlight cover. So you would put this on your headlight. Well, that's how the cars came, and it would produce that light effect. And, I mean, it's really, really pretty. So it's not a glass serving tray that we thought it was. I had this up for a pretty penny, but, of course, like I said, um... My store is running a sale right now. So the winner actually got this for $34. I'm very happy about that. And I kept adjusting the prices. So I thought that was a good deal, $34. Then the next item, that was it for eBay one store. eBay two store actually made a sale. And I think this was amazing because I was going to put this up on the auction um, that was Monday, but I didn't have time. I was setting it up to put it up today, but then all of a sudden this morning, to change. So even better, I sold it at uh, eBay for the price I wanted. So this is, and they got it for a deal as well. This is a collection of Game Info Informer magazines. With very, very geeky type here of Pokemon magazines. It's all video games. I probably could have sold this in bolts of 10. But you know something? I wanted them out of here. So I sold the entire lot. This entire lot went for $31. So they're getting all these magazines, which of course were dumped in the freebie section because nobody in this town loves to read. What they do is they dump everything out and their trash becomes my treasure. That's what I say. Um, so this particular one sold for, um, like I said, $31. Not too bad. So my total for yesterday, and this is not including all the auction stuff because at this point I'm just shipping out orders and not even worrying about what is what. My total was $181.56.
that was my total. It was an amazing day. And the thing is, I didn't actually make 180, 156. I made more than that because I sold other things too. So what that means is I am on a very, very strict time budget. I am going to, oh, I can't end yet. I didn't even get into movies. <laughs> I'm all set, say, ready to go. That's it. And you're probably thinking, how did I get up to 100? I sold movies. Now, to try to save myself, I'm going to try to ex experiment. What I usually do is I take the movie, fold over cardboard, and then put it in a bubble envelope. Well, it turns out I now have cases and cases of jewel cases. I think that's going to save me a ton of time. I'm going to take it out, put it in the jewel case, close it up, throw it right in the envelope, send it out. I think that'll be much better. But let's get to it. So what's sold? We have <gasps> Ghetto Dog 2. Look at that. It is Ghetto Dog 2. Yeah, I have no idea. It's probably about dog fighting or living in the ghetto. Who knows? This I sold for $8. Then we have a lovely cafe with uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Jamie Kennedy. It's I guess it's one of those love stories. This one sold for $5. We sold the Delightful Forest. This is a Japanese sword fighting. I actually want to see this, so I'm probably going to put this in um, later on because I have a few of these. This one sold for $10. We've got Woodstock. This one doesn't have a cover. Woodstock, the director's cuts, three days of music. This sold for $6. We have The Descent Part 2. That doesn't have a cover, so it's hard to see. This is all about a scary cave diving movie. This one has been a popular one lately. It is Hick. From the director of Lime Life. This is his other movies. This one sold for $14,000. What did I say $14,000? $14.99. Wouldn't it be nice if it sold for $14,000? At this rate, who knows? I'm probably going to be getting my record if I keep up with the success like I'm doing now. Next one I sold was The Hammer. This one sold for $5. And then the next one, which hilarious as anything... Cannibal the Musical. This is from the, um, this is one of the original musicals from, uh, Shrey Parker, who did South Park, and this is before South Park. And it's so funny when I watch this movie, because you clearly hear the voices of, like, the little cartoon characters with the whole, West, and it's a, it's a comedic western horrible performance. I mean, singing's bad, everything's bad, but it's funny as anything. And I can't get like the sound of Cartman out of my head. Can't get the sound of like, you know what I mean? It's just the certain characters. So, um, that was it for this. So like I said, the grand total, $181.56. I am going to wrap these up quickly. I am going to, uh, finish setting up, um, the, uh, DVDs that have to go out from the auction. And then I am going to set up for not one, but two auctions. So if I didn't already add more work, I added a lot of work. So yes, everyone, Melanie is crazy. But you know something? For the first time, I get to say I am reaping the benefits and saying judging. So with that, have a great day, everyone. This is Melanie from Life Beam's Treasures and Curiosities. Take care.